Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be going over the Eastern Plague Lands route, and it's going to be updated um, with a little extra um, Black Lotus hotfix. So as I was flying in here, I did see the Plague Bloom and a Dreamfoil node here, as well as some Blood of Ancient Heroes, which can be used for the Gorobashi Madness thing. So this is my herb, Alex. So that's actually a, like a low-key hidden reason to come here to herb. Um, but thus far, we've gotten three Plague Bloom and three Dreamfoil just flying over. Um, it's actually been really lucky um, that we were able to find that. Um, and so now we're going to stick to our normal path. So the path I liked to go previously was one that included all the lotus spawns. But since lotus spawns are all up in the air, um, still really working on getting some hard, hard data on locations that they can spawn at. But, you know, our lotuses, you know, a week after it happening are still at 120 gold. So they're not as insane as everyone thought they would be oh look at this we got another blood of heroes so when you're getting these blood of heroes you got to be super careful i'm a priest so it can work out for me um but for other classes is a bit hard because of this slow um what i like to do is fear that and then i will shackle undead w one of them well that didn't go very well and then just sort of try to keep running away um, obviously you can only walk, but Shackle Undead is your best friend here, keeping that, your shield up, um, as a priest, of course, but just ceasing and run away. Now, these do have a significant fall off on your time if you choose to, uh, fight these slash run away from them, and they do hit very, very hard, so you gotta be careful of that. Um, they do de-aggro pretty quickly, um... So that's not that big of a concern for me. Um, just make sure that you keep going. Um, after the slow expires in a minute, you are safe from it. You just have to be very careful um, that you don't die while um, it's not up. So it's that initial slow, and then they do slow you every so often per time they hit you. But... That last fear, I'm running at full speed, should get us away safely. Um, then it's just sort of dodging all these extra ads, making sure you don't hit them. Um, we actually have Arthas Tears up there. Um, not worth too much gold. I wouldn't recommend picking those. Um, and I would only pick the, the um, Bloods if you plan on actually using them. If not, they can sit there for a while. Um, you can also sell some enchants um, to some twinks or warriors as well because that does require blood of heroes so it's a bind on pickup thing that you just sort of find here in EPL and um, you can make some pretty nice profits by doing that uh, looks like we have some sungrass here in the middle of some scourge we might be able to get past them here maybe maybe if not, we're... Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to shackle this one and walk by to get the rest. The problem with shackling is it puts you in combat, so you can't remount. But it does make it nice and easy to uh, continue your herbing. I picked this Sungrass because it can respawn as a um, Plague Bloom. So that's just the biggest point here. And especially with the Lotus spawns being all up in the air. I don't know if it's more or less worth it, but thus far we've made seven gold in about four minutes, so that's pretty freaking good in my opinion. Um, we're going to continue along our path. Hopefully we can find a lot more um, herbs and such. I'm going to actually skip Tears Hand because with the new lotuses and all the elites there, it's not really worth it in my opinion to go up there and venture through. Um, we got a bit off of our circle. Um, I like to definitely check this because I do believe all the old Lotus spawns are still active. It's just there's a bunch of new ones too. Um, so we're definitely going to hit up over here um, and maybe we'll get a bit lucky. But anyway, guys, that's it for sort of the general overview of Eastern Plaguelands. We're going to keep going. Um, if we find anything of note, I will let you guys know. 
And yeah, I will keep farming and see you at the end, guys. Whoop! Alrighty, guys. So we're here, you know, out here urban, going hard, getting lots and lots of herbs. And we've made about 51 gold. Now we're doing this pretty much at noon. We went from 11 to about 12.30. I, was, I, I do pause it occasionally to... Uh, finish vi um, some other content videos, getting other things uploaded and stuff, so I do, t luckily, if you see here, we have that pause timer, so I pretty much pause and don't do anything, just to get an hour of active farming. Now, I will say that we have seen about four to five other herbalists here grinding. Um, we unfortunately did not find a lotus, which, you know, that is what it is. Um, I, I was kind of expecting to get one, honestly, with all the changes. But, you know, like I said, there's four to five other people out here grinding, going for them. Um, however, we were able to make a hole of 23 Plague Bloom. So that right there is really, really good money. Um, we found one Mountain Silver Sage, 11 Dream Foil, then 14 Arthas Tears, 6 Sun Grass, and 2 Blood of Heroes. Now, the thing with the Blood of Heroes is, is it makes the Gorobashi thing, which I actually have not gone and learned that pattern. You can learn that in ZG um, just by doing the um, arena and grabbing it. Um, I do believe that priests and hunters want it, but the madness thing is it gives you three per um, making it. So when we look right here, it'll be in crafting. Oh, rip. We got into combat, so give me a second, and we will head there. We're just continuing along our herbing path. Um, I've actually found most of my lotuses at that spawn point right there, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, but we'll get out of combat here, stop, and then I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. But, you know, we totaled in about 51 gold is what it's toggled up as now what i like to do with the herbs is the next guide you guys will see um for herbing is going to be the crater and i know there's no lotus there but that's the mountain silver sage and i just want to show you how powerful it is together and with those mongoose potions because it is tremendous and can make you so much money right there's a rare spawn gish the unmoving i normally would kill him but you know we don't we're a holy priest now. We accepted the light into our heart. We gave up the shadow life. Um, but there we go. We got some plague bloom. One additional one. But we'll get out of combat with this uh, plague hound here. And then we will take a look at what I was trying to show you with the um, madness mojo. Now the mojo does take a black lotus to make. Um... However, oh, we found another plague bloom. Hang on, guys. <laughs> um, it does take a plague bloom, or not a plague bloom, right there. A blood of heroes, massive mojo, powerful mojo, and a black lotus, and it makes three of those. And those things sell anywhere from sixty to one hundred and twenty gold each. So it's just super worth it. It's the best use of lotus. Um, the pattern you can get in in ZG. Now, it, the trickiest thing is how well do they sell? I don't know because the last I had some blood of heroes, but a guildie needed them for making um, an enchant, so I sold them to them for a pretty fair price. Um, but that's sort of everything I wanted you to know. But wow, we were finding so many herbs here at the end. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Can't hurt to pick them. Um, best part about a priest is scream and shackle. It's so nice because you can just gather them all up, yell get the herbs, and be on your merry way. But anyway, guys, that's sort of it. This is the refreshed um, Eastern Plague Bloom, or Eastern Plague Lands Plague Bloom Guide. Um, if you get a lotus, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, I unfortunately didn't find one, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you immensely. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to join the Discord, DM me on Twitter. Um, just any way that you can find. I have all the medias there. I'm always happy to answer your questions and do my best to get back to you guys. Um, and, yeah, so thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.